So I have a, a little itsy bitsy M4 Express, I think it's called, um, from Adafruit. And uh, it was just in one of my boxes. I bought it a while ago because I was playing around with M4s. But um, I, I, I kind of put all my parts together in one box now so that I know, like, I have a lot of these little processors. Um, so I looked at the description of this thing, and it has um, an onboard LED, LED, and it has an onboard mini dot star, which is just a, a single RGB pixel. And interestingly, the M4 has what's called a true random number generator. So I um, thought, hey, I, I can play with that because there's a crazy idea out there that for true random number generators that uh, consciousness can affect it, can bias the random number generator. So I thought, hey, I can make a... a this costs about $14. So I can make a little a little uh, experiment out of this. So uh, using just the dot star, so no display or terminal, though I, I can't hook it up to a debug terminal, but let's say, you know, turn it on and watch the little LED uh, up on a shelf, okay? And so what I did was I wrote some um, code. I loaded CircuitPython on it. And by the way, I use Visual Studio Code with the CircuitPython uh, extension, and it works very nicely. And um, I wrote some code that does the following. What it does is um, it um, will display, so it'll, it'll keep drawing random values, true random values, and boil them down to a single bit. Uh, so either a zero or a one on each try, and it'll it'll keep track of the relative number of ones and zeros as a bias. So it'll increment a number if it's a one, and it'll decrement it if it's a zero. So if this was truly a true random number generator, that should stay around zero, right? There should be about the same number of ones as zeros coming out of the thing. And so what I did was to, to display it, to give visual feedback, um, I have it so that I have it sweep colors. So when it's in a range, so the idea was when it's roughly zero, I wanted it to be green. And when it's very much more, when, when, no, when the bias is roughly zero, I want it to be green. And when the bias goes very negative, I want it to be blue, and when the bias goes very positive, I want it to be red, and I want it to sweep in, in between. So I'll show you the code in a second, but um, what I what I want to do is show you it in, in operation. Um, so that's the boot, and then I'm flashing the uh, L the onboard LED just uh, to let you know that I'm starting up. And then here's the the green dot star. And I've got uh, the onboard LED as a heartbeat because if it was just sitting there green, you know, this is micro Python. If, if it hits an exception, it just stops, but it'll leave the LED lit. So in order to know that it's not just frozen and dead, uh, I put a heartbeat in there that's being run by Python. So uh, if Python crashes for any reason, uh, the heartbeat will stop. So, uh, so now the idea here is, you know, for crazy people like me, uh, is to try to use your, your uh, conscious influence on the random number generator to go in a direction that you want it to go or to, to go in any direction. Right now it's still sitting at green, but um, 
you know, can can your brain influence that to become more red? It'll, you know, on the way from green to red is yellow, so it'll go through yellow to red, and on the way from green to blue, it goes from green to blue, green to blue. So now, what I did is a is a safety, or so that so that you don't have to keep rebooting this thing. If it if it goes so far, let's say to the red, and uh, it just gets hopelessly biased um, in in the in the red direction. What the code does is uh, after something like ten minutes or five or ten minutes of being pinned to the red, it'll just reboot the whole processor. Uh, so I made I, I decided to make it reboot. Uh, it does a, a, a processor reset uh, as opposed to just re, you know going around the loop in the code because it probably isn't bad you know after running this thing for days if that happens to uh, to reboot the machine and restart Python. So I'll show you the code. It's still very green. Now, I've seen this just sitting there creep up from green to yellow to red and then get reset. And I have no explanation for that. This is supposed to be a true random number generator, but it did. I mean, it did that. So, though you can see right now, it's just staying, uh, if you can tell with the video, you know, it's staying green. But let's look at the, let's look at the code. Okay, so we got it set up here. Um, I'm using uh, Thony. Uh, so, yeah, I didn't start up um, Visual Studio Code. It was just easy to get Thony started. Um, it's not much Python code. And basically, we've got some imports here. Um, that we need OS mostly because uh, for the random number generator board um, because I need access to the uh, down here board dot star clock and data some of this is just taken right out of um, Adafruit's examples so credit to them uh, I need the Adafruit dot star library time to do some time things obviously uh, digital IO is so that I can flash the uh, LED and microcontroller so that I can reset the machine so the first thing I do is print hello world uh, just kind of left that in there um, now the next thing I do is I set up uh, the onboard LED, it's nice. They have a board LED uh, variable or whatever uh, object, basically, uh, that you can use so that you don't have to figure out what pin the LED is on. So uh, you set that up as um, a pin and you set up its direction to be an output. And then I have this little variable called flip-flop, and that'll be the state of the LED. It'll either, it'll flip between true and false, and then I'll just output that directly to the LED. So that little bit of a, I'm going to put a blank line here, that little bit of a flash between, um, at the very beginning, just to note that the code is starting up, I do some quick flashes. So uh, for 50 flashes, I sleep a tenth of a second. I set the LED to the flip-flop value, and then I flip uh, the flip-flop so that the next time through the loop, it'll flip between true and false, and that'll turn the LED on and off. And then I have, uh, after that, I initialize the um, 
the dot star. You can get this directly out of Adafruit's example, but it's very simple. You just need the, the clock and the data pins, and uh, you get that directly from board, and uh, you create a pixel. Now, in this case, this little one, one over here says that there's only one dot star uh, in the string, and uh, so it's really pixel, but it's in general pixels. That's that's going to be a list, um, and then I keep track of the bias. So bias is, starts off at zero, and then uh, to create the color sweep, I'm going to uh, colors uh, for the dot star are are um, these tuples or tuples, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, so it's a three member tuple, red, green, and blue. And so I'm going to just create um, sweep being a list of colors. All right. And so there's going to be 512 um, color steps in the sweep. So I'm going to sweep from, if you, if you look at how this goes, I start from I from zero to, it'll go to 255. So red will be zero. Uh, green will be the value of I divided by three because these dot stars are very bright. And so I decided to divide all the values by three. Um, so it, it, I essentially I is the green value and 255 minus I is the blue value. So what will happen is it starts off with no green and 255 minus zero is 255 and all blue. And as it goes up towards 255, it'll be all green and no blue. So it's a sweep from blue to green. And then I do something similar uh, from um from green to red. So if you look at this now, I starts at zero. So it'll be full over here. It'll be full green and zero red. But as this goes up to 255, it'll be all red and then no green. So that's a sweep from green to red. And they're appended into this list. So it'll sweep from blue to green, green to red. All right. And then you'll see how I use that. Um, I'm going to have a heart rate. So I'm going to be counting times through a loop. I Yeah, I'm going to be counting times through a loop to decide how often to blink uh, the onboard lead. So that's uh, this blink count. It's, a, it's for the heart rate. And then I've got this thing called pin count. Now that's not pin as in board pin. This is, it's pinned. So it's pinned to red or it's pinned to blue. And what I'm going to do is when it gets pinned to red or pinned to blue, I'm going to increment a counter to, to say, it, say, how many times through the loop am I pinned? Uh, and then that will be used to decide when to reboot the board. And then delay is uh, how long to sleep between iterations of the main loop so that, uh, number one, I don't overwhelm the dot star. And I found that, yeah, I think you can't really hit it to, there, there's a rate uh, at which you, you shouldn't go too fast with this thing. I, I just found that it worked better that uh, if I was updating it. Uh, about this often. Uh, you you could experiment with that. But now we go into the infinite loop here. Uh, so while true, we sleep. We grab a, a random number. Now R is going to be, when you say OS random of 1, it gives you a, one single byte. So it's a value 0 to 255. So that's R. Uh, and then we are going to take care of the heartbeat. So once we get the RAM number, I'm going to update the heartbeat. 
So I increment the blink count. And if the blink count times the, the delay is greater than one second, so, you know, basically I'm counting, you know, each time through the loop is roughly 0.2 seconds. And blink count is how many times I went through the loop between blinks. Um, so how many iterations of the loop. And if that's greater than a second, then I'm going to blink it. I'm going to flip the blink. So it'll blink on and off at a rate of one second on, one second off. And then I just do the same thing I did before. I'll reset blink count, and then I will flip the flip-flop and store the flip-flop out to the LED. And that's a bug. I grabbed a random number up here, but then I grabbed it again. That's just a bug. So uh, I can improve this code by taking out that um, extra random number. So down here is what I normally do. Uh, so OSU random, as I said before, it's going to get a single random byte. I use ORD to turn that into an integer between 0 and 255. And then I say bias is incremented by 1 if R is greater than 127, meaning the high bit is set in um, the value. Otherwise, it's going to be incremented by negative 1, meaning the high bit is not set. So, you know, I'm really only looking at the high bit of uh, the random number. Uh, I've done histograms of this random number generator. It's very uniform. So I feel that that bit is um, random enough <laughs> to, uh, to do that sort of thing. Uh, in case I have it hooked up to like Thony or uh, Visual Studio Code, uh, I print out the current bias. Now I do the color stuff. Um, if the bias is uh, greater than negative 256 and less than uh, 256, meaning it's in uh, a range Oh, that 500, remember my sweep is 512. So if it's in that 512 uh, range, I will uh, play out the sweep. So um, I basically just add 255 to the bias and uh, grab the color out of the sweep and store that out to the pixel. And then I say, hey, it's not pinned. So pin count is zero. Otherwise, if the bias is negative, that means it's less than 256. I put out full blue and I say it's pinned and I increment the pin count. Otherwise, it's, it's pinned on the red end. So I put out full red and I increment the pin count. And then down here, I say... Uh, if the pin count times delay, meaning how long it's been pinned, is greater than 600, that's 10 minutes, then I'm going to do a microcontroller reset. So that's the code. Uh, and um, I think I'll post it with this video. Um, and if you, uh, you want to give it a try... Um, it really is, it may be, it, in, if you already have an Itsy Bitsy M4, or if you want to grab one from Adafruit, um, not that I have any connection with Adafruit, but they have a lot of amazing and inexpensive products that I uh, occasionally buy and play with. So uh, that's uh, my little uh, experimental setup. Now, uh, I'll try to make a video reporting on, um, you know, how it goes. Like, does it ever, I mean, I know that it has gone red, it has gone blue, uh, but uh, lately I've only seen it green. So uh, let me, uh, uh, well, no, that'll be it. So that that's it. So that's uh, the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it.